In this session, we're going to take a look at the article manager, but more specifically, the creation interface for new articles. When we come to a new article screen, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I want to go over everything just so we cover our bases. The title field is pretty important. This is how Google finds you. Good titles mean better page ranking. So you want to think long and hard about the titles that you use for your articles. The alias is what Joomla fills in to create human-friendly URLs, and if you ever want to get an idea of what something is for in Joomla, you can usually just hover over it and it will give you a, an explanatory message. If we were creating an article for a particular section or category, this is where we would choose them. Currently, uncategorized about Joomla news FAQs. These are the default sections and categories that Joomla comes with, and we'll be adding a few in just a moment. Once I choose a section, categories are offered up as well. I need to choose the category this article is going to go into. If the article is going to be standalone, i.e. it doesn't really fit into a section or category, then leave the article as uncategorized. One word of caution. If an article is uncategorized, your users won't be able to find it unless it's linked to a menu. So make sure if you're creating an uncategorized page, like an About Us page or a Privacy Policy page, make sure that there's a link somewhere on your site to that article. Is the article published? One of the things I do when I'm working on new articles is I leave them as unpublished. I don't want articles appearing on my site in an unfinished form, but if I have it set as published and click Save, then that article immediately appears on my website. So while I'm working on it, I leave it as unpublished. Should this article appear on the front page, many templates allow you to send articles to the front page in a similar way that the default template shows the sample data on a site. If you install JCE in Session 21 and you go to your own website now, this is what the interface will look like. This is the standard JCE interface. This is highly customizable. And we're not really getting into that in this beginner level course, but there are great tutorials on the JCE's webpage on how to customize the interface. Over on the right hand side, we have article parameters, advanced parameters, and metadata information. If you have multiple authors, you can change the author here. You can provide an author alias. What level access will this article have? Is it open to the entire world? Is it only open to registered users? Or is it only open to your administrative type users? You can set that here, or you can set it later. Created date is the date and time when I click New in the Article Manager interface. Start Publishing is automatically given the same date and time. You can schedule articles on your website using this interface. Let's say I create this article today, but I don't want it showing up until New Year's Day, given that this is December 29th. I don't want it to show up until New Year's Day at 12.01. All I would need to do is change that to 2010 0101. That would now show up at one second after midnight on January the 1st, 2010, server time. So if, if my server is on the west coast and I'm on the east coast, that would show up at 3.01 on the east coast, but midnight on the west coast. Something to remember. If I want the article to never disappear off my site, I leave it blank or just saying never. If I want it to disappear, say, at 8 a.m. on January 1st, I could just put in here 2010-01-08-00-00 and at 8 o'clock server time that article would disappear off my site. So you can start to see there's some real power in the article manager interface here. One of the key reasons we use a content management system at all. Under advanced parameters you'll see that this is mostly made up of the global parameters for articles. You can overwrite any of those parameters at the article level Let's say, for instance, I want the created date and time showing for this article, but in my global parameters I have them as hidden. I can just click Show here, and now when I come to this article, it will show me the date and time when it was created. Joomla allows me to have some alternative read more text here as well, and it can be a little bit more dynamic, and actually Google really likes that as well. Finally, the metadata information. Metadata can be filled in automatically by Joomla, given some other extensions. But with the basic layout, I can put description and keywords and author information here in my article. Uh, it's helpful, not necessary to do.
And then finally, the article interface itself. We've already gone over the JCE interface a little bit, and we'll go over that in the next few sessions as we start to put some content in. Just a couple of things at the bottom here. Image uses the media manager or the built-in image uploader. We're not going to use that. Page break inserts page breaks in long articles and gives you a table of contents at the top of the article. This is really, really handy for multi-page articles because you really don't want your users scrolling down 30 screens. And then finally, the read more. In old Joomla 1.0, you used to have intro text and full text. Intro text was what was shown in a blog layout or in a section layout that showed the intro text. Now we don't have that anymore. We have a read more. A read more inserts a break that does exactly what it sounds like. It shows me a read more. And when I click on it, I get the full article. The last thing to mention are the navigation buttons at the top of the screen here. We've talked about this before, but just as a reminder, because it's really important, in Joomla, you can't use the back button in your browser. You must use these navigation buttons to move about the site. So the five buttons here, preview, save, apply, cancel, and help are really important. First of all, preview, when you click on it, gives you a preview of your article. Our article is blank, so it doesn't really help much. And even when you have content in there, it's not that great. If I click save, it saves the article and takes me back to my content manager. If I click apply, it saves the article, but leaves me in the article to continue editing. This is really important. You should apply your article regularly. And by that I mean you should save it, staying in your article to continue editing, but each time you click apply, it's written to the database. So if something happens, like your browser crashes, or your session times out because you were called away, your article is saved and you won't have lost the information. Cancel does exactly what it sounds like. It takes you out of the article without saving the changes that you've made, and clicking help brings up Joomla's help site and gives you some basic tutorial information on all the things we've just talked about. Though it doesn't cover JCE, it covers the standard Joomla installation. Well, that's it. That's the article overview.